everyone. Welcome to Rusted Pliers. Today I got a quick tip here if your lawnmower is running out of power after driving it around for a little while or a couple minutes. So I have this John Deere L130 uh, lawnmower here. It's got a couple hours on it. It's seen its better days, but it's still running pretty strong. Um, but what I've noticed is after 10, 15 minutes or so, it really starts to lose power uh, driving and in reverse, almost coming to a complete stop. But I found the issue here. You don't have to assume your transmission is going bad. It may be a quick fix. If you look under the rear, there's your transmission. And you'll see there's a fan right there in white. So if you look at mine right there, it is completely broken and doing nothing to help cool this transmission. So there's a, the drive belt goes all the way to the back, turns that fan blade. You see I have here a replacement. And what's happening is after a while, the hydrostatic transmission here is overheating because it doesn't have a fan to cool it off. So I'm gonna pull this out, clean it, replace that fan blade. Uh, well, I have it out. I might as well change the fluid, but there's plenty of good videos on YouTube on that And I'll link it at the end of the video on how to pull out this transmission uh, But I'll replace this fan blade and see what we get I got the transmission and the back wheels pulled away There's the lawnmower on, on box. It really wasn't too difficult to pull this out, but as you can see this thing's filthy so the fans not doing much and it's covered in dirt and grease so I'm going to clean this up a little bit and hopefully it'll allow that block to cool down. I said, I don't know why this fan broke. Might have got a twig or stick stuck in there and broke all those blades. But I'm going to clean it up, put this new fan blade on there, uh, as well as change the, the fluid. So there's your, your port. Got the hydrostatic transmission all cleaned up got the new fans on uh, it looks real well just remember when you take it off which direction your fan was uh, it looks like some john deere models have the fan on top of the pulley and some have it below the pulley since mine was below the pulley when i took it off i'm going to leave it there i don't see any obstruction anywhere so that looks all good <laughs> 